If you're failing to plan, you're planning to fail. Almost every successful person will tell you that they plan everything in advance and they know exactly what may go wrong and what to do about that. The same applies to PTA as well. If you want to get your score in a short time, then you have to have a plan. And remember, if you say, I want to get 79 plus or 65 plus, that's not a plan, that's your wish. And that's the exact reason why we have made this four weeks plan for our students, which tells them exactly what they need to do in first week, what they need to do in the second week, third week, and fourth week. Not just that, it also tells them which questions they should be focusing on and how many of those questions they should be doing. This is in so much detail that you can start your preparation just based on this study plan. With the help of this plan, anyone can get their desired score in just four weeks. This is a guarantee. So we have our four weeks plan here, and I'm going to show you how you can use this plan to get your score in the next four weeks. One thing you have to keep in mind is this is not a shortcut. I'm not trying to show you how you can just quickly get rich or something like that. This is not a shortcut. This is not an easy solution. This is a plan, a strategy, which consists of different things you have to do. So you have to do these things in the order I have mentioned here. A common misunderstanding whenever we talk about these study plans is people think that they just have to do a few things and then they will get this score. Uh, because I received an email from someone who was asking me, I'm working full time, I don't have time to practice, how can your plan help me in getting the score in four weeks? It cannot. If you can't study, the plan is not going to do it for you. You have to study. This is a study plan. That means if you want to study, but you don't know where to start and how to follow different steps, then only this plan is going to help you. If you want to take a shortcut, then you have to try something else. And I don't believe in shortcut anyway. You have smarter ways of doing things rather than just working hard, but there is no shortcut. You have to do things uh, to get the outcome, to achieve something that you're looking for. So let's have a look. First thing is I have divided this study plan into two parts. The first part is the study part and the second part is the practice and test part. So in the study part, you are going to study for just one week and you are going you are going to do speaking, writing, reading and listening as mentioned here. And once you finish a particular topic, you'll have to click on this box and that will um, show that it has been completed or you can just print it out and then tick on these uh, columns. Another thing is these topics you can see here are directly linked uh, with our website so if you click on any one of them it will directly take you to that topic on the website and you can start watching these videos these lessons straight away this will save you time and it will help you to get in sync with your progress report on the website so you should start with the speaking. The reason for that is this is the easiest section to prepare as there are a lot of tricks you can use. This is also the most important section because it affects your score in reading and listening in a big way. And speaking is also one of the sections which contribute maximum score towards the overall score of 90. And based on my experience, what I've seen is out of 90, around 30 points come from just speaking and the rest of the 60 points come from the other three sections. So you should start with the speaking. Once you finish the speaking, then you can do writing or reading or listening as you like. Although in this study plan, I have writing after speaking. And then after that, we have reading and listening. But you can do it in any order, in any way you want. If after watching a particular video, you are not exactly happy with uh, what you learned from that video or you didn't feel uh, like you learned something or it was confusing, difficult. In that case, just mark that topic so that you can revisit that topic later on when you'll be revising everything. As an example, when you'll be doing reading, there are a lot of grammatical concepts there that you have to go through. And I don't expect anyone to learn these things in just one attempt. So let's say that I'm learning about noun. It might take me more than one attempt before I start understanding it. Uh, before I it makes any sense to me. So I should mark it and then later on I can come back to it and then do it again. So if you are doing this on your um, computers, then in that case you can simply highlight these lessons which you found difficult. For example, noun, let's say it's difficult for me, I can highlight this. Or let's say this particular topic that I watched and I was not 
comfortable then i can highlight it and do it just and just go through this uh, videos later on so like this you should finish your um, study week first go through the videos mark the videos you found difficult to understand or found confusing and then watch them again and if you are one of our enrolled students that means you enroll in our paid course you can of course ask us questions if any concepts in the video did not make any sense to you once your study part is done the real work starts. You have to start practicing now. And you have week two, three, and four. And how should you practice? A common question is, should I practice all types of questions on one day or just practice one particular question throughout the day? My approach would be practicing all the sections on a single day. You can see there are so many questions you have to do here and you have to set a daily target first. For example, read aloud. You have to do at least 25 read aloud questions on a day. Repeat sentence, around 60 questions. How much time it might take? You can think about it yourself. 60 repeat sentence will not take, I think, more than 20, 25 minutes. Read aloud, 25 read aloud questions might take up to 30 minutes. Describe them as 33 questions, around 30 minutes. Read a lecture, 13 questions, maybe around 10 minutes and so on. So you can see that if you spend around 6 to 8 hours every day, you'll be able to do all the tasks mentioned for that particular day. And you have to do it every day. And another thing is, at any particular point, if you feel like, I think I have done enough of reader paragraph and I usually get the answers correct, then in that case, you don't have to do it the next day. That means, let's say on week day one, Week one, day one, and week one, day two, I did read a paragraph. Everything I did was correct, and I did not feel any difficulties. Then from week one, day three, I don't have to do read a paragraph. I can simply skip this part. So just like this, you have to go through week one, week uh, week one, day one, week two, week one, day two, and so on until you reach day six. Day six is your mock mini test now. What happens in mock mini? In mock mini, you just do one section of the test only, like only speaking or only reading, only writing and so on. And this is very important because once you practice for a certain amount of time, you have to also see where you have reached now and whether you have actually progressed or not. There is no point practicing the questions if you are not going any further, if you are stuck at any point. So once you have practiced the questions, start checking your progress as well by doing mock mini tests, which you should do on Saturday. And on Sunday, you can do at least two mock tests, which will take you around five to six hours. And that's it. So every week, this is what you are going to do. Every week, you are going to practice different questions, 20 different types of questions for five days. And then after that, on Saturday and Sunday, you'll be doing tests. On Saturday, you'll be specifically doing mock mini test, whereas on Sunday, you'll be doing mock test. Now, if you are one of our enrolled students in paid courses, then you'll also get results for these tests. And then you can see how much you have progressed. And based on that, you can decide what should be the next step and modify the plan accordingly. So this study plan can be effective only if you are committed, only if you are consistent. If you have a lot of distraction or if you are looking for a shortcut, it's not going to work. And anyway, people who have been successful in the past are people who were committed to their target, who wanted to get their score and were committed to that. If you just want to get the score, it's not going to happen. You have to do it in the proper way and you have to prioritize things. If you are working full time and you have your family and you have your friends and you want to go out and watch movies, all of these things cannot happen at the same time. So you have to pick one that is the most important for you. And for people preparing for PT, this is the most important thing for you. And anyway, after one month, after your four weeks, when you will get your score, you are free to do whatever you want to do. So I hope this study plan will help you to get the score you are looking for. If you need this study plan, there is a link in the description. Please click on that and follow the instruction on the website and you'll be able to use this study plan. If you have any confusion or questions about the study plan or about anything else, please write in the comments. Thank you for watching this video until the end. If you like the content of this video, please do not forget to like the video and share it with your friends. Also hit the subscribe button if you do not want to miss any videos in the future and don't forget to click the bell icon.
But if you want to watch more videos, more customized videos, which can help you in your PT preparation, then you can go to our website, romanptmelbourne.com.au. In this website, you'll not only find the tutorial videos, but there are more than 7,000 past exam questions. There are mock tests, there are mock mini tests. You can do this test, get this score, and also consult with tutors. And on top of that, you can attend live classes where you can discuss with expert tutors about your problem and get some individualized suggestions. I hope you've benefited from this video. I'll see you in the next one.